Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. This is Sadie Heckman, Udell's Garden and Arboretum Manager. And today I'm gonna to be giving you an update on what's blooming in the gardens. And today we'll be focusing on my favorites, Epimedium. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you a couple specimens throughout the gardens that are blooming. So first off, we're starting here near the sunken rock garden. And the first one I wanna show you is the chartreuse foliage that's covering the ground completely right here. And this is Epimedium X Visicolor Sulfurium sulf is the cultivar. And it has really beautiful yellow spring flowers with a cream exterior and bright yellow on the inside. Some of the newer foliage has red modeling on the foliage, but most of it is just your basic green with a slight red edge to it. You can see a little bit of modeling in the leaves as well, but you can see it definitely varies. And the red modeling usually fades throughout the summer, but with epimediums, they are a shade perennial And once established, they can start to form a ground cover. They're extremely drought tolerant, which is fantastic for a shade plant. And like I said, they do spread once they're well established. So we'll walk throughout the gardens and I'll show you a couple of my favorites, starting with that sulfurium specimen above the sunken garden. So right now we're coming up to the Holly LA and where we're going to look is on either side of the event lawn and walled garden. So these gardens right here on the left and right of the path and I'll show you a couple of blooms in here. So I'm going to try to show you guys a variety because they do come in orange, white, yellow, pink, red, purple, all kinds of different colors. So this next one we have his epimedium, I'm not even going to try to pronounce all of them because I'll just butcher it, but this is another yellow bloomer. Let's see if I can get in here without stepping on the pastas. And you can see it has much smaller yellow blooms that are very different than the first one. It has larger leaves with beautiful red modeling on them. And you can see this one's done quite well spreading. And this plant has been living here since about 2007. The next one we have is a purple selection. And its blooms are definitely the showstopper of this plant. So this is Epimedium Grandiflorum Purple Prince. And you can see here, the flowers are very, very purple and they're much, much larger than the two at the beginning. Very florific, slight redding to the leaves when they're new and very chartreuse new foliage as well. So on this one, it's more of a a bloomer rather than a cool foliage plant, but still really great. And epimediums are semi-evergreen. So they're kind of like our hellebores where we cut them back early, early spring, late winter. They shoot up all of this new foliage and then they bloom and stay green throughout the season. So that's purple prints. The next one we're going to look at is one of my favorites for foliage, at least in this area. <laughs> and this is Epimedium Pink Champagne. And you can see the amazing modeling on this foliage. Much longer and pointier leaves. And some of them are even almost fully a bronze color, if I can get that leaf. 
And this one has pink blooms. Pink Champagne is the name. And you can see this one has a much daintier flower. So it's a more sparse panicle compared to the really dense one that we saw in Purple Prince. So this one's just starting to come into bloom. And I really love the foliage on this one. So that's Pink Champagne. The next one I'll show you is Epimedium Grandiflorum Rose Queen. Another very small flower, but not as dense as some of the others. And some of the foliage has a really nice point on one side, which adds a lot of interest. So that's Rose Queen. One of my favorites isn't quite blooming yet, but this is Epimedium Nivium is the cultivar. And this was planted in 2014. And once it starts to bloom, I'll have to update you guys, but it has a double flower that's white. You can see one starting to open up. And I really, really love this one. It's a lot smaller than the others, so you can see how tiny some of the leaves are compared to my finger. But like I said, it has a double white flower that I really, really love. So you can see all of the little epimediums blooming away. And there's one over here that I want to show you guys. So right now we're right outside of the event lawn. So this is the next one I want to show you. Epimedium grandiflorum ube, maybe? <laughs> this is one of the larger selections of epimediums that I've seen here at Udo. So it gets about a foot tall um, once it's fully emerged. The leaves come out this blackish green color and the blooms are extremely dense. So you can see that panicle there, extremely dense and almost a bubble gum pinky color, which I really like. And this one's also just starting to bloom. So you can see some of the buds there. There's a couple of blooms in here as well but another really great specimen definitely an underrated shade plant in the garden so i think there's a couple more that we'll look at This one's really nice. Very florific. Epimedium Pink Elf. And you can see this one's just starting to bloom as well. Very small flowers. The pinkish peach center. And white outside petals. And the buds are very bubblegum pink. So that's Pink Elf. That's another really nice selection. And this one has more textured leaves than some of the others, so you can kind of see the rippling on those. But less of that red modeling. You can see it a little bit on some of them. But this one has much more textured foliage. So that's Pink Elf. The last one I'm going to show you, maybe my favorite, maybe. <laughs> They're all just super cool and so unique that it's hard to choose a favorite. So right now we're in the Millstone Garden, which used to be called the Big Pine Garden. But since the Big Pine is no longer there, it's now the Millstone Garden. So this next plant, you'll see why it's my favorite. Another up in medium. 
Wushenhansi, maybe is the genus or the species. And you can see here, the foliage is ginormous. Definitely has a bronzing effect on it. Extremely serrated margins and almost a lime green edge. That's definitely my favorite part of this plant, but it does have blooms. You can see they're very, very big. So you have white on the back side and a creamy yellow on the inside. And they're very, very dense as well. So this one's just starting to bloom. There's some buds that haven't opened yet. But that's Epimedium wishhansi. And I really love the large serrated foliage. So I think that's all of the epimediums I have to show you in this area. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and had a wonderful weekend. And keep posted for more amazing what's in bloom. Have a wonderful day.